us and we're going to walk in them, God. We're going to step in the door for all that you have for us today. We thank you, God, even the man of God, as he walked through the open doors, as he break the bread of life today. God, let us reach out and grab it. We're reaching out and we're grabbing it, God. I love Jesus, he's my savior. When the storms are raging, he's my shelter. Wherever he leads me, I will follow. Because I love Jesus, and he loves me. I love the Lord, and I won't take it back. I love the Lord, and I won't take it back. I love the Lord, and I won't take it back. He has been so good to me. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all I can face tomorrow. I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. Because he lives. Come on, all fear is gone. I don't have to worry about a thing. Matthew chapter 4, verse number 19, and the word of the Lord reads, and he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Somebody ought to say amen to the reading of God's word. This morning, we're kicking off a brand new series entitled, Follow Me, hashtag, do you know Jesus? I'm going to teach, I'm going to preach with this thought in our hearts and in our minds, Wiki Church. Let me tell you what Jesus does in this text because we see the intentionality of the call. When Jesus calls us to be a disciple, he calls us intentionally. But he intentionally calls these brothers. He's intentionally getting, getting in touch with them and getting involved in their life because he desires to do something in them and through them. All these brothers knew was fishing. All these brothers knew was their occupation. All they knew was to be able to be their little country living, out there fishing, out there working. But Jesus came to interrupt their regular schedule program. We see two brothers that's working together. We see two businessmen working together. And the Bible said that Jesus called them. Look at then we see the initiation of the call. Who initiated this call? Jesus intentionally called you because you needed him. And Jesus is the one that's calling me to get to work. This is not Pastor Kobe. Pastor Kobe not trying to, to build the church. Not trying to get more members. Oh, Pastor Kobe trying to get more disciples. Oh, that's what we're trying to do. And Jesus is the one that did this. was his heartbeat. His heartbeat was souls. If you don't care about souls, you need to figure out where your heart is. I'm not trying to beat you down. I'm trying to pick you up. And I'm trying to convict you so you can be converted. So God can be able to use you in every area of your life. He said, why will you call me Lord and you don't do nothing? I say discipleship is a call to listen and obey. That's what discipleship is. This is my desire. My desire is to please you. Y'all don't know nothing about that. My desire is to please the Lord. Every day while I'm on that job, I just look at Brother Terry. While you're on that job and you're on them, riding them trucks, you got them 18-wheelers, you're going out. It's to please the Lord. Everything I do, oh, when I'm at that school, oh, when I'm feeling that, doing them taxes, oh, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm working wherever I'm working and doing what I'm doing, I'm my plea. My aim is to please him. My aim is to lift him up. My aim is to magnify him and to glorify him and everything. I do I'm getting there I'm getting there I'm getting there the intimacy of the call salvation is not a call to a church salvation is not a call for you to be a choir member salvation is a call for you to follow 
Jesus Christ. He said, follow after me, boys. When you follow with me, when you stay in my proximity, what I love, you'll love. What I mean, what I, when I care about, you'll care about. I can only get to know the Lord by being intimate with him. I can only know that my wife don't lurks like certain things. She don't like certain food. She don't like certain colors. She don't like certain things. But the only way I learned that is to be involved in her life and to listen to her, what she say. The same thing with me. She knows my little funny. She knows my little idiosyncrasy. She knows that. But we spent time together how can you know the Lord how can you know what he desire how can you know what he want and you never spend time with him On behalf of everyone at Truth and Love Ministries, we want to thank you for joining us for our virtual worship experience. We want to thank you for your likes and your shares, your comments and your emojis. But we also want to invite you to partner with us as we continue to be the hands and the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. You do know that he told us that we ought to feed the hungry, we ought to clothe the naked, and we ought to be the church. And you can help us to continue to do just that through your generosity. And there are three easy, safe, and secure ways that you can do just that. You can text the word T-I-L Jax, one word, T-I-L Jax to the number 77977. You can go to our website, www.truthandlove.tv, or you can go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, search for Truth and Love Jax, Download our app and you can give that way. We thank you for your participation. We thank you for your generosity and we love you and we'll see you next time. Here comes the church. God bless you.